Ooh, what's up guys? Milo here again. This is part two of the Carapano tutorial. Um, um, today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to add a logo. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick one. So from the last tutorial, we created a, uh, a virtual tour using the default skin. Um, I'm gonna show you how to add a logo to that. Wait, just gonna hide, hide my face. Hide. How do you do that? Okay, so this is the XML. Actually, if you look at the if you look at the folder where the V tour was generated from, the starting point is tour.xml. So this is that file. And when you look at tour.xml, it's looking at the file under skin and v tour. Um, v tour skin.xml. Actually, the other templates are here as well. So this one. This is that other file. So I'm just, why am I showing you that? Because um, in the previous Scarepano versions, the default team had a logo ready somewhere. And when I searched for it, I saw it here. So it's still being referenced, but it's not actually in the team. So right now, I'm just going to show you how you can Add, re add that back. So I created a logo right here I got from Google. And then to do the, to add the logo, you just need to create a layer with the same name as this. So we're going to do a layer name, skin logo, and then point to the URL of the logo which is which I put here so I saved it in under skin and the name is logo.png so I'm gonna say skin logo.png and then I'm gonna say keep equals true what this means is that uh, you're gonna use the element for the whole tour because it's possible that you just want the logo let's say um, in this scene it's possible to and this scene has a different logo so this just kind of says this is a global thing global element actually if we do this this will already work um, let's save it and refresh so as you can see there's now a logo on the top left so what do we do with it? Actually, up. Quiet. That's my bird. Uh, so what's gonna happen now? Because uh, when we looked at Peter's game, we saw that there's code here. When, when I looked at it, it's just, it's hiding the logo when you hide the skin. And we, it shows the logo when you show the skin. So when you click this, it automatically hides the, the logo. Because it's part of the code. And, I guess no. If you're a beginner, nobody will explain that to you. Um, so let's try to adjust some values so you don't like how it appears, right? Because it looks funny. So you can add scale. Um, this could be two percent smaller, and then you can move it using X and Y. So if you want to move it to the left, you do a negative value, let's say 20, and move it up, that would be negative 20 as well. I mean, it could be anything, so it's going to be 10. Uh, there are also other values you can use, uh, other attributes uh, you use to, to place an element, so there's... Um, a line. Basically, a line is just you're just telling Carapano where where you want to put an element. So if you do center, it's gonna go to the center. 
So I think the default is top left, which is why it was there. So you can do top right. Let's see what I'm doing there. So yeah, maybe you want the logo there. There's also what to call edge. Um, this is basically saying where you want the X and Y to originate from. So if I do center, let's try center and do zero. This will become crap. Because the origin of the like the X and Y will stick to the center. So what we could do is in this case top right, do the top right as well. So if it if we align it to top left, um, let's see what's gonna happen. So we can't see it because we also need to do top left here. But if you do top right here, that means the logo is here on the edge. You just need to move it by a few pixels. So yeah, you can mix and match this, but most of the time you okay, won't need to. So let's just bring up the old values. What else? So this logo here, it hides itself right when you click that. But if I rename this like logo two, that won't happen anymore because, like I said, uh, there's there's just existing code which is calling that. So yeah, that's the only reason why we named it string logo. I think another thing you want to do is maybe have it clickable or not clickable if you want it not clickable you just to enable this voice what happens is you won't be able to click it and I mean you can drag the panorama even if you're dragging on the logo uh, you can do alpha which is uh, the transparency to 0.5 uh, we can what else can we do mm. Scale X Y. You can make it clickable. Uh, so let's say you want it to go to a website. You add on click, open URL, and then put the URL to let's say Google. Save. When click this. This will go to. Oh, we need to do enable to first, of course, because it won't get the clicks. So, yeah, this could be Facebook. Mm, that's, uh, that's all right about it. Oh, uh, I just want to show you that you can place this anywhere. So, basically, this XML is calling this XML, but let's say we want to put the code there instead. It's possible to. Uh, I just need to put it here. But now, this will change because right now, Vitor Skin XML is inside the skin folder. So, Airpano won't be able to find the logo if I do the same code. Oh, I was wrong. Uh, I didn't say that. So, because it's looking for the logo under skin, and right now we are in this folder, and the logo is in that folder. So, we just need to do logo.png and it should appear and there you have it you now have a logo uh, yeah just wanted to keep this short uh, on the next tutorial i want to show how we can add the welcome screen uh, but for now uh, I think, yeah this is what i just thought of like a real quick tutorial um, that's it thanks and uh, thanks for watching and goodbye